Hello everyone, this is just a little addition before we actually get into the music video. I tried to put this uh, Leonard Cohen video up for Canada Day, July the 1st. Uh, recorded it, posted it, got blocked, uh, put words over it, posted it, got blocked. So there's no way that I can get it up for July 1st. Usually once they get blocked, it takes at least three days for them to be released. So you will be seeing it after Canada Day. But happy Canada Day anyway. I hope you enjoy the video. Just wanted to apologize for the fact that I couldn't get it up on the proper day. All right, let's go. Hello everyone, Ron here from RJJ's Reactions and happy Canada Day. Yes, it's July 1st as I record and post this. You might be watching on another day, but July 1st is Canada Day. Happy Canada Day. Happy celebrations to all the Canadians, all the people who uh, want to be Canadian or wish they were Canadian. You can celebrate with us too. Why not? I'm here with a super Canadian talent. It's no longer with us, unfortunately, but it's Leonard Cohen. And the song is Dance Me to the End of Love. Leonard Cohen uh, is a famous poet, writer, singer. I believe he did some art as well. Um, just an amazing artist all around. And he was a bit of a stand-up comedian too early in his life. And so at the end of this song, I'm going to play a little clip from ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Leonard Cohen. It's a black and white uh, film by the National Film Board of Canada. And this is just a clip of it. Maybe I'll do the whole uh, show at one time and do a reaction to that. We'll see. You can let me know if, you, if you'd be interested in that. Uh, I saw it many, many years ago on... Uh, probably a black and white television so it would have been black and white for me whether they did it in color or not but it, it was done black and white and um, I thought it was hilarious I absolutely adored it and wished that I could see it more often but of course back in the day there were no uh, tapes or internet or <laughs> anything like that and I never caught the show again it was probably shown on uh, TV Ontario or something like that um, and I kept watching for it but I, I it may have been shown, but I never got to catch it again. Anyway, I think you'll get a real kick out of it. So stick around after the song so that we can uh, laugh a little bit at that clip. And it's called, uh, I believe it's called The Mental Hospital. Yes, I did jot it down because, you know, my memory. Once I get talking, I lose track of what I'm saying. But anyways, uh, if you don't mind subscribing to the channel before we head into the music, that helps the channel a lot. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed, commented, uh, shared the video. It really helps the channel and I appreciate it very much. In the description, I'll put a link to my reactions to Leonard Cohen because I've done a few and you can check them out all in one place. Also, I'll probably put this in the playlist for Canada Day. I did a lot of Canada Day uh, songs last year. I'm not going to do that again this year, but um, I may do a couple and we'll add them to that list. Um, and also in the description, I'll put a link to Leonard Cohen's channel so that you can go there and support the artist. We definitely want to do that. All right, let's get into Dance Me to the End of Love. Dance me to 
the end of love Let me see your beauty when the witnesses are gone Let me feel your moving like they do in Babylon Show me slowly what I only know The limits of and dance me to the end stop the one time here i'll back up a little bit yeah beautiful strings love that uh love the piano love leonard cohen's voice as well and uh, an eon ago when i heard leonard cohen for the first time i wasn't so sure about whether i liked it or not because sometimes uh, in some of his songs particularly it didn't really sound like singing all that much but there was something about his voice and the the uh, timber of his voice was, was attractive. And as I kept listening, I just fell in love with Leonard Cohen's um, voice as well as the, the poetry of what he sings. It's really gorgeous. And, um, you know, as, as far as I know, he wrote all of his songs. I don't know if he did covers or not, but he wrote all of his songs. So very poetic, beautifully, beautifully done. And I love it here with the, the pictures of the young couples and then as they're older as well. So... To the end of love Very touching Dance me To the end of love
incredible, incredible, incredible strings. Um, maybe in a way the wrong song for me to do. <laughs> um, a very emotional, much more emotional than uh, I thought it was going to be. Um, I'm tearing up here because uh, it's been a long time since I, I've heard this song before and I've probably seen this video before too but a long long time ago and I didn't watch ahead of time today I just thought oh Dance Between the End of Love that's a that's a great song I, I recognize the title uh, I didn't re remember in the video that they had all of these uh, pictures of the younger couples and older couples and then of course some of them had lost their partner at the end and yeah I had a a long-term relationship with my wife and and when they say death till death do you part that's unfortunately what happened so um right at the very end right in in our house here so um yeah it was uh it's difficult still it's been years but it's still really difficult when you see something and hear something as beautiful as this uh leonard cohen's voice that the sort of I don't know, there's something about that tone of his voice throughout. It's it's almost like his, uh, as I was mentioning before, his dry wit and his, his, his just very, I don't know, calm presentation, <laughs> a straightforward presentation. But then with those amazing strings, some of the things they were doing with the bass and the violins and things, really gorgeous and the piano and the backing vocals as well. It all is just so, so touching along with the, you know, the, the, the videography with, with the pictures of, of, uh, and videos of all of these couples. Yeah, very, very touching, beautiful song, poetic as well. Um, there's just so many things to mention here. I'm going to forget something, but poetic lyrics too. I'm not going to go into the lyrics. I, on one hand, I think they're fairly straightforward. On the other hand, I think that you can have your own personal uh, identification with them and interpretation of them. And I'll leave that to you because I think probably that's the best for something as poetic as Leonard Cohen. I am going to stop yapping for a moment and go into the little comedy skit. It's, it's, it's very short. It's just a clip from the show. Like I say, maybe I'll do the whole show at, at some point. I think it's maybe 40 or 50 minutes long. This one is only a couple of minutes, I think. So stick around for that. And uh, I, think you'll, I think you'll really enjoy it. Plus, it, we could do to lighten it up a little bit. I'm getting a little too sad here on Canada Day. It's supposed to be a celebration. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay, here we are. Leonard Cohen, The Mental Hospital. This is just a very short clip. Uh, it says 2 minutes 54 seconds there. Uh, from, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Leonard Cohen, National Film Board of Canada uh, show done in black and white. And Leonard was 30 years old here, and it was in Montreal, Quebec, which was his hometown. And he had returned there, and they filmed him doing a little bit of stand-up uh, in his home, I believe, in his apartment. Uh, reading some of his poetry, etc. This is just a little clip of a stand-up routine. So let's have a listen. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Leonard Cohen. The other time I was in corridors such as these was in the Verdun Mental Hospital. <laughs> Montreal. I was visiting. I was visiting a friend. He was on the top floor. And I asked him, for he was still lucid, where can I get a coffee? He said, downstairs. That was one of those famous last words. I commenced the descent of similar stone corridors, and I found myself in a kind of arena, which was surrounded by closed doors. It had been a hot afternoon, and I had removed my jacket, as I am wont to do. I had left it with my friend who, though mentally ill, was no thief. <laughs> I suspect he wasn't even mentally ill. <laughs> I 
He was doing this instead of college. <laughs> I stood watching the four or five doors, wondering about all the possibilities, except the one that occurred. The door opened, and two large men in white uniforms walked out. <laughs> and they said, where are you supposed to be now? <laughs> I said, in the cafeteria. <laughs> they nodded to each other. I said, where are you supposed to be now? <laughs> in the cafeteria. Well, you see, as their questions continued, my answers, which had started innocent enough, began to sound like I, were, I was protesting too much. <laughs> in fact, after being interrogated more, three or four more times, I was shouting, pushing them aside, causing them to run after me down the corridor. <laughs> it was only when a guard identified me that I was able to go back to my friend, who had eaten my jacket. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's the very end of the clip. The ads will pop up in a second. Um, yeah, as I say, this is just a short clip of, of the whole show. I think it's 40 or 50 minutes long. <laughs> if I remember, and it's not all uh, stand-up comedy, like I say, it's, it's clips of him going through the city, I think, and his his apartment, etc. I only remember parts of it, but um, and I didn't remember this clip actually specifically, but it is it's very funny, and you can see how dry his his wit is, and and and, and almost poetic in a way, uh, also just the way that he delivers it, um, with an almost straight face, but just enough that you know that. It, uh, yeah, he, he he understands what he's doing. He gets what he's doing. So I hope you enjoy that. I hope you enjoy the music as well. Uh, I don't know how you couldn't. It's, it's amazing. But if you did, give it a thumbs up. Give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And uh, check in the description for a link to Leonard Cohen's channel to go and subscribe and like and comment there and support the artist as well, of course. Uh, keep your messages coming to me. I read them all. I answer as many as I can and your requests as well. I'll add them to the regular list, but it's very long, so it does take time for me to get there. If you want them within days rather than months, check in the description. All you have to do is buy me a coffee and you'll get yours within days. Really easy to do. So that's Leonard Cohen. Happy Canada Day. Great Canadian artist here. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Check out the um, uh, playlist for Canada Day that I did last year as well. I will put it in the description below also. All right. Bye-bye for now.